In this video, we're going to discuss the solution to question number seven from the final exam for Math 1220. And in this question, we're asked to set up the integral to find the area of the region under the parametric curve given as x equals 1 plus e to the 2t and y equals e to the t, uh, where x ranges from 1 to 2. And this question is a set up the integral type question. Um, although simplifications are necessary, uh, we are not expected to actually evaluate the integral for this question. So the start of this one is to recognize that to find the area under a curve, we want to integrate the expression y dx. And this is also relevant for parametric curves, and this actually gives us a way of how we want to compute this. So the integral that we're going to try to set up a here, we're going to integrate um, the well to get the area we get y times dx y is the height of the rectangle dx is the thickness so we're going to insert the y function as it's given so that gives us an e to the t uh, then we're going to insert dx right we take the derivative of the x there with respect to t in which case that's going to give us 2e to the 2t uh, dt like so and so by labeling we see there's the y coordinate right here here is the dx right there uh, and so that gets us most of the way there. The last thing to do is the bounds here. Uh, so we have to identify the bounds. And in terms of the integral itself, there's not really a lot of simplification to do there. Um, you could leave it factored in the way that you have before, or um, you could bring out the 2, e to the t, e to the 2t, <clears throat> like so. I mean, you, can, of course, can uh, add them together, the exponents. e to the t times e to the 2t would be e to the 3t dt. And so again, this isn't this wouldn't be a hard antiderivative, but we're not actually asked to set it up. Or, I'm sorry, we are asked to set it up. We're not asked to evaluate it. So the last thing to identify are the bounds here. So as x approaches one and x approaches two, what happens? So as x approaches, as x is going closer to two, um, we then plug. We, we have to solve this equation right here. We have two equals one plus e to the two t. Subtracting one from both sides, we get one equals e to the two t. Taking the natural log uh, of both sides, you're gonna see that zero equals two t, and therefore t would equal zero. That's gonna be the upper bound of this thing. So we're gonna get zero as the upper bound. As the lower bound, uh, we take we take x equal to one. And so we get 1 equals 1 plus e to the 2t. Subtracting 1, you're going to get 0 equals e to the 2t. Now, one thing I should mention is that the exponential function can never actually equal 0. So it's tempting to say that, oh, there's no solution here. Uh, but in all reality, although e to the 2t cannot equal 0, we can have that e to the 2t approaches 0. And so really, we think of this as a limit. What happens as x approaches 1? Um, so in that situation, when when can e to the 2t approach 0? So kind of amending what we said earlier. So we want 1 plus e to the 2t to approach 1. That means e to the 2t should approach 0. And that happens, of course, as 2t approaches negative infinity, the horizontal asymptote there. And so that's telling us that t is approaching negative infinity as well. And so it turns out that this integral is actually was an improper integral in disguise. Uh, kind of like the Decepticons there, in which case the lower bound would actually be negative infinity here. So our integral would be from negative infinity to zero of two times e to the three t dt. And honestly speaking here, uh, as this one was meant just to set it up, if you left it factored as e to the t times two e to the t two t dt, that would be perfectly fine. You do need to have the bounds negative infinity to zero. So uh, if I was looking at this one, things I'd want to grade is that definitely I want to see that you swapped from the x values to the t values. So we need the bounds to be negative infinity to be zero. You need to have the y coordinate, e to the t. You need to have the derivative of the x coordinate, 2e to the 2t. And you also need to have the differential, the, two, uh, the dt here. That is part of the integral. Its omission uh, would be a forfeiture of a point there. And this shows you how you could set up the integral to find the area under this parametric curve. 